Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Designer. Today I'm going to talk about my recent experience that I had when I was on holiday. Now my holidays are usually like my photo trips. This is really where I do most of my photography in the year, really. And it's where I've done my previous series of Mamiya, where I took this thing on holiday. We've done Taipei, Singapore, and also Amsterdam. So at the beginning of February, uh, I was off to Miami. And obviously I was planning to do another photo series. I took all of my gear with me, I took this thing, I took my other lens, I took my GoPro, lots of film and I was ready to do it. And I wanted to just share with you what happened because hopefully some of you can relate to it. But basically I didn't take any pictures on my photo trip. Well actually I lie, I think I took maybe three pictures and that was it. I think it was just a combination of perhaps being a bit lazy, but I also think it was a case of maybe having like photography burnout. Uh, I look at a lot of images online and I guess that I've just kind of got it in my head now that every single picture I take has probably been taken before. And I just feel, especially when it comes to medium format and using film, it, it kind of feels like it needs to be a very, very special photo. It's not just something I can snap. And I did actually end up taking some pictures on my mobile phone, just purely because I did want to capture what I saw. I forgot to mention this when I was originally recording it, so I really want to add this point in because my girlfriend made a lot of sense while we was on holiday. Uh, when I told her that, you know, I wasn't taking any pictures, um, I kind of had this feeling that every, everything I'm looking at I've seen before, and she said to me, you know, it's true that pretty much every single picture in this day and age has probably already been taken, but you shouldn't see yourself as maybe a photographer who is photographing new and unseen things. You should just see yourself as a curator. And I think that's a really good point. And I'm going to try and moving forward, going to try and just think of it as that. Really, I should have gone into Miami, not thinking of, I've got to try and capture something that I haven't seen before. I should have approached it as, okay, how do, how do I see Miami? And how would I like to present my view of Miami to other people? And I think that if I would have looked at it like that, I probably would have just taken more mundane pictures that are not, you know, amazing, but they capture what I liked about Miami. You know, as I said, that there were some things that I did like about Miami. I really did enjoy my holiday there. Um, as it turns out, it, you know, even though I didn't take pictures, I did actually really enjoy my time. I really did enjoy, enjoy the colours and things like that and small little elements. Um, but I guess I was just trying to think of, you know, kind of like more grander pictures that I could take um, while I was in Miami. And that's where I think that uh, it failed. I think another reason as to why I didn't take many pictures, I'm not sure if anyone's been to Miami, but I was staying in South Beach, which is obviously it's where Ocean Drive is. It's very, very touristy. Kind of felt a bit gimmicky, really. Everywhere that I was walking, it felt like it was just put on. You know, it, it didn't really feel authentic in any way. And it's usually why I prefer just to go to big cities, because I feel it's just a little bit more authentic. A few days we did take a taxi over to the, the downtown Miami and Midtown and also I think it's Wynwood as well. Um, and again, those places, I thought downtown was was not really photographic. It wasn't really too much that I wanted to take a picture of. And uh, in, the, in the Wynwood area as well, again, that felt very touristy and gimmicky and I, I'm usually turned off of taking a picture when there's just loads of other people taking pictures. And it seemed that everywhere I went in Miami, that's what I encountered. So it would be interesting to know if anyone else has been to Miami and if anyone has had the same experience. Now, the reason that I wanted to, to share this with you is that being, being a YouTuber who creates content and especially, you know, the photography content is quite popular. Uh, you know, I really did want to create another series because I really did enjoy putting that stuff up on YouTube. And it's really fun to read everyone's comments of what image they liked and stuff like that. Basically, it's okay if you don't create content and don't get too stressed if you don't take pictures when you're on holiday or if you're on a, a trip where you was meant to take pictures. If you don't see anything that interests you, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you might go to a place and it just might not inspire you as it did with me with Miami. 
There's going to be plenty of other trips that I'm going to go on and you're going to go on where you'll be able to take pictures. I think later in the year I'm going to New York and also Toronto. But yeah, hopefully anyone, anyone watching this can can relate to it. Um, you know, often on YouTube you're only shown kind of like one side of the spectrum, which is people having amazing time and getting amazing shots. Uh, not a lot of people show the opposite, where you don't get good shots, you're not inspired, maybe you're a bit lazy, you can't be bothered to take a picture. Um, yeah, today I just wanted to kind of share that with you to, to give you that other side. So there's not too much else to say. Um, I do have one image in this row of film that I took in Miami. I took, yeah, I took about four or five shots. And there's one in here that I'm looking forward to developing. I didn't even get through one roll, so I've still got I've still got five shots left on this. So that means that I'm gonna to have to wait until I get through this roll of film, which probably won't be until later in the year, until I can develop it and take a look at it. So maybe I'll include it in the, the New York uh, series that I'm gonna do. But I don't wanna to say too much about that, just in case I go to New York and I get the exact same feeling. So let me know if you've ever experienced this. Have you gone on some sort of trip or something where you was kind of expecting to take lots of pictures and it just kind of went pear-shaped and you didn't take as many pictures or any pictures? It would be nice to know that I'm not the only one who has gone through this. Uh, but anyway, I will end it here. I'll catch you later.